So Beef Brody from Tactical Baby Gear had asked me, are we crazy to try sending all our regular Shopify emails through Klaviyo? And can those even be turned off? And the answer is you could do that. If you're on Shopify Plus, you can request that they not send and you take care of it on your own. But it's adding a lot of complexity. And the chances are the reason you'd want to do this is to get more customization over it. And it turns out, for the longest time, Klaviyo can generate copy and paste templates. And so if we go in... Uh, this Klaviyo doc, how to personalize and export Shopify notification emails. Customize Shopify's default email templates using Klaviyo to achieve brand consistency. Ah, so if you use Klaviyo, you could generate copy and paste notification templates that work in Shopify, and then they match and are consistent with your newsletters and your Shopify flows, or your Klaviyo flows. Okay, sweet. And it says we go email templates in Klaviyo, create template, uh, and then Shopify notification templates. So, okay, I've got Klaviyo open. Let's try this. We're going to go first under search templates. I'm going to search Shopify. You can see I've already got these in here. So I could copy and paste these, but it looks like these are from 2017. So let's try create template. They say I got to use the classic editor. Okay, have it selected, create. And they're right, right up here, Shopify notification templates. Boom, look at that. They all pop up here. Okay. So let's try styling one and then copying and pasting it. We're going to call it uh, Shopify order confirm 2022. Create template. And then, all right, it gives us a, a good starting point. This looks great. Uh, we're going to ditch these social buttons. Not my favorite. And we just got to add an image up here. I bet they have one. If I search, like, logo... Look at that. They already got their logo in here. Fabulous. Okay, little big. Let's center that. And let's get the URL. Put that in there. Let's say image width 400. Nope, too big. 200, better. 150, looks great. And we'll say alt text, TVG logo. So we're gonna save that block. And then like under styles, I don't like when they have that background, so I'll just change it all solid white. Make it look real good. Uh, we'll leave the divider. The rest of this looks good. We'll just, I know they use 333 for their text. You're limited for good reasons, but here we can make it like, that's a little too chunky. Lucida? Nah. Now is it not updating these fonts on me? New York, no. MS Serif, no. Ooh, Palatino, no, no. Tahoma feels right. Verdana. I don't know. You don't get a ton of options here. Century Gothic. Oh, you know what? That actually might be <laughs> might be the one that's on brand. Courier. All right, well, you get the idea. So I'm just going to set this back to, we'll go with Verdana. Links, text, oh, we got that right. Fine, well, okay, great. Heading one. I think this is where we'll go a little funkier. Now, do any of these do anything here? I don't even think I'm using these. All right, whatever. So we got our settings in here. Great, save. And so the advantage here is that you can use Shopify or Klaviyo's template editor to do to drag and drop sections in here. So it could be like, all right, uh, yeah. It could be like, oh, continue shopping. That might be cool. But we're gonna ditch that. We just want our regular regular thing here. So if I go save and return to templates, here it is, order confirm 2022, and export, it's going to give me the HTML. So I'm just going to right click, copy that. In Shopify, you go settings, notifications. That's where we're at now, settings, notifications. And normally for customizing, you're limited to set your logo, pick your color. And honestly, I think this looks fine, but um, you're limited to that layout. And so if we wanted to, we paste our layout in there from Klaviyo and hit preview. 
And then look at that there. That's the new one generated by Clavio. Then like send test email. I could send it myself to test it out. So pretty straightforward. It's a identical process for all of those templates that they support. And the advantage there is you could get everything to look really consistent for all of your email communications. So have fun playing with that. Don't make yourself too crazy. I hope that helps. Mm-hmm.